start, we're going back down to New Zealand. All right. It says, I love the teaching of this church and the holy man, Pastor Gino Jennings. I am a Chaldean and my God. Have my people turned away from the truth? This is sound doctrine. I hear now from Pastor Gino Jennings. A group of five of us left our church and just started reading the Bible almost every day. This is in New Zealand. Lord. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful. Amen. Come on, brother. I wanted to walk in righteousness and always prayed for more wisdom. Unlike going to church, unlike going to church days, now we are actually righteous and doing our best to be holy. We are thinking about all our people in our small community here in New Zealand. They need to wake up to the truth and out of nowhere we find Pastor Gino Jennings. My God, what a gift from heaven to us. Finally, a teacher on the same page as us and same thoughts as ours and even better than ours by miles. I thank God we came across this teaching. Brother Williams, man, you are a great reader too. <laughs> You remind, <laughs> you remind us of a greater Malcolm X, the, believer, the believing version of him. My question is, we are reading the book of Enoch a little, mm. as well as I would just want to ask Pastor Jennings his thoughts on that. Listen to what I listen. Mm. Don't run ahead of anything. Right. First, learn what you have. Yeah. There's no need to run through the book of Enoch and, and no other book until you first learn what you have. You see, and this is, what people, this is what, listen at the Apostle Paul now. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and we'll start at verse 1. What is it? Be ye followers of me. You know, Paul encouraged the folk to follow him. Yes. Why? As I also am of Christ. Now, when God's man followed the direction of the Spirit, then that keeps the people in a safety zone. Yeah. So New Zealand, don't run ahead, just, just follow don't worry about the book of Enoch now. First, learn what you already have. That's right. And God willing, next year we look to come to New Zealand and teach you what you already have. Amen. Examine what you already have. And broaden what you already have. To make sure what you have is the same thing that we have here. Amen. So, uh, because reading doesn't help nobody without understanding. That's right. You know, they read the writing on the wall in the days of Daniel. Yeah. Many, many to kill your fast in. But the writing didn't help nobody until Daniel came along by the Spirit to interpret what was written there. Right. The Bible said whatsoever things are written aforetime is written for our learning. But you can't learn what's written without the scriptural interpreter. Yeah. All right, real quick. My question is, we are reading the book of Enoch a little as well, and I would just ask Pastor Jennings his thoughts on that. Should we continue to read the book of Enoch along with, alongside the rest of the Bible or not? If we are lucky, this person says, we will get a response from Pastor Gina. But if not, I hope the Holy Spirit guides us to the right way. Please bring this teaching to New Zealand. God somehow. willing, we're looking to do that. Oh, he, he guides you to the right way. Oh, yeah. The moment you found the truth of God, you found the will of God. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on. Please bring the teaching to New Zealand somehow. Please, brothers, if you need any help setting up anything here, please email me. We have two churches, one for the Assyrian community and one for the Chaldeans here in New Zealand. And our mission is, big, is to bring these people from two different churches into one church the Church of Jesus Christ. We have, a side, we, have, we have a side that is a Protestant and a side that is Catholic, this person says, so pathetic. Thank you, G thank you God, and God bless this great church. Our prayers and thoughts are with you. God bless you, Pastor Gino, and the whole church. Matthew Zaraga, New Zealand. Do you see how people are hungry for this? Do you know how many thousands of miles New Zealand is from America? Now, even those in New Zealand can see that this is the way of God. Amen. And there's no need for people in America to act like they don't see it. You see it, Amen. but many of you are just too stubborn to follow it. Amen. Glory to God, but your day will come. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. This letter is from Tallahassee, Florida. This person says, greetings, Pastor Jennings. I'm a minister from Tallahassee, Florida. I was invited to a so-called minister's meeting on the fifth Sunday. There were about five or six ministers, including myself. Pastor Jennings, it was the sorriest, despicable, and saddest ministers' meeting I ever witnessed. Lord. These fellows take subjects from the Bible and vote whether they are right or wrong. What, what, they, do, what, they do what? These fellows take subjects from the Bible 
and vote. They vote. And vote. vote. And vote whether they are right or wrong, and then decide how it should be preached. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so sad. That's mm. Go ahead and read all of it, Dan. Amen. They believe you can divorce, but you can't get married. They believe flesh and blood is in heaven. They believe in two gods, yet they claim it's one. They denied the belief in the one cup in communion, and they believe it is not necessary for women to cover their head, and so much more. Lord. I told the brothers who invited me, you should be ashamed, should be embarrassed. I asked him to do, I asked him, do you listen to Pastor Jennings? He said all the time. Even he admitted that there is not a preacher over the air more bold or knowledgeable of the scriptures than him. One fellow from Mobile, Alabama, who wanted to do most of the talking, I asked the brother who he was. He said he was just one who wanted to be head of everything. So I asked that brother, have he heard of you, Pastor Jennings? He said plainly, I hate Pastor Jennings. Isn't I asked that him, wonderful? Hey, my Lord. Whatever's in the person gonna come out of him, isn't it? Yeah. All right, come on. He said plainly, I hate Pastor Jennings. I asked him why. He said that I quote, he has too many members. He's too popular and people respect him. Pastor Jennings. That's a sad thing. I sound like a little child. That's no reason to hate somebody. I didn't ask these people to come here. We didn't ask New Zealand to write us, Africa to write us, Canada to write us, Australia to write us, America to write us, South America to write us, the Caribbean to write us. No! We didn't ask that. It's the Lord's doing. Lord's doing. Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Marvelous. Come on, come on, come on, Dan. Let's, let's leave. Pastor this, Jennings. This is a good letter. Amen. Amen. Listen at this. Pastor Jennings, after hearing this, it was quite obvious I was talking to someone who is definitely very jealous. But this fellow wants to, be, wants to preach like you, walk mm. like you talk like you. He tries to mimic you in the pulpit. With all these preachers and churches combined, it's probably, it's probably no more than 70 people. I say to all members of First Church, if you ever leave the message that God has given Pastor Jennings, you are a fool. Wonderful. Very good letter. Mm -hmm. I say to all members of the First Church, if you ever leave the message that God has given Pastor Jennings, you are a fool. I am 65 years old, and I can tell you that there is nothing else out there. Keep up the good work. Your brother in Christ, Tallahassee, Florida. Wonderful letter. <laughs> Wonderful letter. Well, I must say, the devil is everywhere on this earth. Oh, yeah. And hatred is an expectation. Oh, yeah. I'm not moved by it, not phased by it, mm -hmm. because they hated the apostles. Amen. And when they hate you because you stand for God, that's the word of God being fulfilled in your life. Amen. So it's a good thing, isn't it? Amen. Wonderful. But to be so jealous, mm. and that's jealousy is like cancer. The ear of of God, in fact, the word of God says this. In the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and at verse 10. Listen. For the ear of jealousy. The ear of jealousy. Heareth all things. Hear everything. And the noise of murmurings and is not hid. And the noise of murmuring is what? Is not hid. Is not hid. Therefore. Therefore. Beware of murmuring. Beware of murmuring. Which is unprofitable. Bible says jealousy is as cruel as the grave. That's true. So uh, I thank God for the success of the truth of God, and it's still just beginning. Amen. Just beginning. Hmm? Amen. Just beginning. Come on, Dan, let's have it. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Greetings, Pastor Jennings. I am so blessed to be able to follow you on YouTube. My question for you is, can you explain the scriptures in Ephesians chapter 1? 
Verse 18. What is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? All right, I can break that down for you. Ephesians mm -hmm. 1, 18. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18. Yes, I take care of that. All right. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Glory to God. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Now, why does the word of God compare your understanding to your eyes mm -hmm. to enlightenment? Mm -hmm. When your eyes is closed, you're in darkness. Yeah. When your eyes come open, then you can see everything around you. Right. Well, when you're ignorant and don't understand, it is equal to your eyes being closed. Mm -hmm. That's why your understanding is being compared to your vision, that's right. your ability to see. Mm -hmm. If you're able to see naturally, then that's compared to your mind being able to comprehend the information that you're now receiving. That's right. So listen. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of his that calling. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance. The riches of the glory of his inheritance. In the saints. It's where? In the saints. The riches of the inheritance is in the saints. In the saints. What is the riches? It's God's word. That's right. Give me 2 Corinthians chapter Second 4, beginning at verse 4. 1. Mm -hmm. The apostle Paul said, Therefore, seeing we had this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have renounced the, the hidden things, things of dishonesty, not walking in crap, there's no hand in the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, committing ourselves to every man conscious in the sight of God. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blind the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ with the image of God to shine unto them. But then he said what? For we preach not ourselves. We preach not ourselves. But Christ Jesus but the Christ Lord. Christ Jesus the Lord. And ourselves and your ourselves servants for Jesus' sake. servant for Jesus' sake. For God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For God, who commanded, who the, commanded light the light to, to shine, shine out of darkness. You see, when your understanding come open, Hallelujah. light, which is the direction of God, mm -hmm. is shining out of darkness, That's right. shining right out of you. That's right. The light of God is shining out of a place that's ignorant. That's right. For the Bible said, I will dwell in the thick darkness. Mm -hmm. Now the word of God says this, we have mm -hmm. this treasure, this treasure in earthen vessels you see the earthly vessels is the saints that's right see that's why the bible said the riches is in the, in saints. the saints it's in the saints that's right it's in the saints that's right and the apostle that's paul it. now Amen. make reference blessed be the name of god Hallelujah. they make reference to the saints and said what but we have this treasure we have this treasure in earthen vessels it's in us in, that's right it's in the hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. it's that's in right. the body yeah. hallelujah or it takes that's god the message that god hallelujah. gave the apostles hallelujah. is valuable that's right it's riches that's right it's precious hallelujah. it's priceless hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. glory to god hallelujah. amen you see him when he was giving it to earthly vessels that's right giving it to his apostles hallelujah. and after jesus died and came back hallelujah. the third day that's and right. appeared to them that's then it. open he right. their understanding that's, that's right then they do it that's right. that they may understand the scripture that's right. so you can hear plainly the the riches, riches. that's in, in the, the saints, saints. is what but we have this treasure. It's, it's, it's a treasure. In earthly investments. Glory to God, we're putting it in you now. That's right. With God's permission. That's right. Eh? That's up. Glory to God, we have the treasure in earthly vessels. That the excellency that the of the excellency, power. excellency, that the perfection. Of the power. Of the power. May be of God. May be of God. And none of Hallelujah us. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. So yes, the riches that is talking about Hallelujah. is the word of God that's being preached. Amen. It's a very rich thing. Oh, yeah. It's a very valuable thing. Yes, that's designed to get you out of spiritual power. Poverty. That's right. Huh? That's right. You see, when you don't have God, you're spiritually poor. Mm -hmm. Thank God, but we got something to give you yes, that's more valuable yes, than gold. That's, that's right. Hallelujah. That's Glory that's to right. God. Hallelujah. Huh? More valuable than gold. Hallelujah. It's more precious. Glory to God. Hallelujah. More precious. Hallelujah. Thank God than anything under the wonderful. sun. That's right. Amen. Thank God. So when you get the word of God in you. You got the most valuable, valuable and the most precious that's right. riches, riches in the universe. That's right. And this is it right here. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's holiness. Hallelujah. It's so valuable. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So valuable. Hallelujah. So precious. Amen. Thank God. There's nothing like it. Oh, it's no. better than anything that's earthly. That's Amen. right. Amen. Now, the, that's why the Bible said we have this treasure. This treasure. It's in, in earthly, earthly vessels. vessels. Mm -hmm. At the excellency of the power may be of God 
Thank God and not of us. Not of us. Amen. I, I can take that to the rest of the telecast. Yes, Amen. you could. Glory to oh, God. Yeah. All right, come on, Dan the man. Let's have it. Miss Lev says, praise the Lord, Pastor Jenny. Praise the Lord. You don't know me. I am, as many others, a loyal viewer of your telecast. All right. I go to a small church here in Mobile, Alabama, on Government Street. All right. For the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Hmm. These are the strangest, weirdest group of people <laughs> I have ever... I have ever, by chance, I've ever seen. Oh. Every chance the preacher gets, he tries to convince us that divorce is right, and flesh and blood is in heaven, and it does not take rules to be saved. I figure I would do my own survey, so I talked to some of the members without him uh, knowing, knowing, uh, knowing I asked two brothers, have you learned anything since you need you've glasses, been there? Son? I do need glasses. I don't you got some glasses? <laughs> they both said they, they only they both said the only thing we've learned is we can get rid of our wife. Otherwise, that's it. We listen to Pastor Jennings to learn the Bible. I even asked his wife, how is he an elder without being ordained? She said, Brother, I don't believe that. She said, I learned I I've learned better than that from Bishop Hunter. Pastor Jennings, I am not making this up because I haven't even heard of Bishop Hunter. I've asked her to do, to do a fill, I, I asked her to do fill, to do, do you feel as though he is in leadership? Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. Do, do somebody got some reading glasses because I don't want no fumbling. <laughs> no, let them hold them, brother. If you need reading glasses, let's get them because I don't want no fumbling now. <laughs> I want my mail rail red neat and clear, you know, so you can see. You had them all this time? <laughs> now listen, you know what false prophets do? <laughs> Some false prophets know the truth and they hide it from you anyway. <laughs> now come on, let's read this right now. You got it together now? All right, come on, Dan. Pastor Jones, I'm not asked, I'm not making this up because I haven't even heard of Bishop Hunter. All right. I asked her to do to do. Do you feel as though he has leadership qualities? She, uh, she looked at me and said, you, are you kidding? Pastor Jennings, even she said, Bishop Hunter and you are the only real leaders. She has even admitted that, she is, that this is weird. So I asked her, why do you come here? She said, you, just, you ju said just to avoid argument. I asked her another, I asked another brother, Clyde Campbell, I think that's his name. I asked him what he has learned since he has been here. Now he answered, now, now he's, he answered, freak, his answer freaked me out. I didn't come here to learn anything, he said. I came because I got sick and tired of my wife complaining about different church sisters in the church. My Lord. So to please her, I came here thinking that I could help the brother, but it was the worst mistake I ever made. I asked the minister, why are you wasting your time? Almost every service you are talking about First Church and Pastor Jenny's. Have you noticed over the air, Pastor Jennings just preaches the gospel? It's quite obvious to him, you don't exist. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Amen. All right, come on. I ask you why you can't do the same if you say God sent you. Pastor Jennings, what he said made my jaw drop. He said, I hope all First Church burn to the ground. I hope Pastor Jennings is destroyed Mm. And I don't care what I have to say or even do to make it happen. And, and I saw Satan in his eyes. That's mm. wicked, isn't it? That's Amen. When a person don't care what they say or do, That's because they are mad at the success of the people of God, Amen. then they will lie on you. Amen. They'll try to frame you. Yeah. They'll try to set you up. Yeah. And they are willing to do anything and say, and to admit you're willing to do this. That's right. That goes to show you these fellows are nothing but sinners. Amen. They're not saved. That's right. Mm -mm, no, they don't have the Holy Ghost at all. No, no. All right, come on, Dan. One more thing. I don't mean to be long, but you have to know this. All right. He even bragged to me that he encouraged a member in Delaware to call some of the members at the church in Del Mar to say to the people that Pastor Jennings changed his teachings on the Godhead. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. He did what? One more thing, I don't, I don't mean to be long, this person says, or to brag. He encouraged a member in Delaware to call one of the members at the church in Del Mar.
to say the people that to say to the people that Pastor Jennings changed his teachings on the Godhead. I said to him, but you know that's a lie. He said desperate times result in desperate methods. Wow. He is willing to start a rumor, even if that's what it takes, just to get members. This person says, keep standing, Pastor Jennings, yours in Christ. That's something. Have any of the brothers and sisters that's here from the Del Mar Temple, did you get calls of lies put out that Pastor Jennings have changed his stand on God? If you have, raise your hand. That's one hand up right there. My Lord. How hell-bound wicked. That's something. Uh, That's something. That you will put a rumor out just to get members? Lord. I'm, now, I'm glad that I'm an apostle. Wonderful. Amen. I'm glad that I'm a God-made preacher. Amen. All these hundreds of folks found the truth of God around the world. Not one time did we have to call people to try to get them to come to church. We did not have to start a room. You know, I would be embarrassed Amen. as a preacher if I got to start rumors because I need members that bad that I was called rumors or start rumors calling people in another church to get them to come over where I am. My Lord. That's nothing but a pure sinner. That's a sinner. Pure sinner. That's a sinner. Our gospel haven't changed at all. No, no, no. No, sir. Man. Not at all. Man. The gospel is the same today and yesterday. That's it. Glory to God and forevermore. That's right. That's sad. That is sad. That's pretty sad. That's wicked. I've been telling the viewers for years, these fellows are not preachers. No. And you're right. No, I don't even, I really don't hardly remember that these folks exist because we preach to the world until someone may mention something otherwise than that. I forget that they're actually on the planet Earth. That's true. That's true. Why? Because we're sent to the world. Amen. And we're Focus on the world. Amen. Or it take God and labor to turn the world towards God. Amen. Someone said, well, Pastor Jenner, what are you going to do about them? Amen. I will pray for them. Pray for them. That God will fill him with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Speaking in tongues. Right, and the Spirit of God give utterance. Amen. That's what I'm going to do. That's right, I pray that God fill him with the Holy Ghost for <laughs> once that he really received the Holy Ghost and come out the pulpit and so he don't lead what folks are there right into hell. Amen. All right, next letter. Lewisburg, North Carolina. This person says, praise Sound the like Lord. like you said Lucifer, North Carolina. Lewisburg. <laughs> Lewisburg. Lewisburg. Lewisburg, All North right. Carolina. I was going to say, I know the devil's everywhere, but my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Hey man, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, Dad. All right, Lewisburg, North Carolina. Yeah. This person says, "Praise the Lord, Pastor Jennings Praise and the First Lord. Church. Mm -hmm. You are truly preaching, and I, you are truly preaching, and I truly hope that you can come to Lewisburg, North Carolina, and start a church here." Yeah, Lewisburg is not that far from my family hometown, Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah. All right. I have been listening to you since 1992 and baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. I have been told back in the day not to listen to you, but you taught me how to capture spiritual things, which I have to compare spiritual things with spiritual. Now, you know, viewers, and you that are here, if you would just get this message in you. That's it. Amen. I don't just come to church listening. That's right. Get it in you. Amen. Nobody will be able to con you, That's right. mislead you. Duke you, yeah. make a fool out of you. Yeah. All you got to do is get it in you. That's right. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Part. Lord, take God. The only way someone that sit under this stuff can be tricked is because they sat at the table and never ate nothing. That's right. That's right. You have to get it in you. That's yeah. right. Jesus said, I am in the Father. Right. Lord, take God and the Father is in me. Amen. Amen. Uh, as, as you hear me often say, I, I travel the world and I'm around all kind of religions. Lord, take God. But every time I go in and come out, yes, sir. holiness still rules supreme. Amen. I'm not influenced by none of it. Amen. Huh? All right, come on, Dan. 
I have even been told back in the day not to listen to you, but, but you taught me how to compare spiritual things with spiritual, as the scripture teaches in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13. Wonderful. I stopped attending those churches because they taught, they taught having second wives and women preachers. Yeah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Pastor Jennings, I ask for your prayers because I am a quadriplegic. And it's very difficult for me to get around visiting churches. But well, if, let, if this quadriplegic <laughs> find it difficult to get around, that's right. yet he get the word in him. Amen. And he's able to compare spiritual things with spiritual things. Amen. You that do get around, then they go to show you really need to get this word in you. Right. Don't Amen. let this stuff just fall on deaf ears. That's right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on, Dan. I would use my wheelchair to get there. Amen, this person says. Yes. I thank God that you are on the internet, and I hope you, are, you all will be able to get on some other of these local cable uh, station channels. It would be awesome, this person says, and God bless you. God bless you also. Thank you for that wonderful letter. All right, next letter. This letter says, uh, good morning. The truth of God has changed my life. Thank God for that. It is a, it is a very inspiring, educational, uplifting church service. And it takes me, it makes me have a guilty conscience every Sunday. Good. That means it's working. Amen. Anytime you in sin, the message of God supposed to make you feel guilty. guilty. Amen. That's what, God, that's what conviction is for. Amen. And that guilt will drive you to repentance. Amen. Huh? Amen. All right, come on. It's an uplifting service and it makes me have a guilty conscience every Sunday. And it, re and it really wretches me from the way I, of life I knew. This person Wonderful. says. I want to become holy, but I'm having problems choosing a place to worship. I am grateful and thankful for all I have learned from the program. Thank you all for the great works that, have be, that are being done. This comes from uh, Zara Henry in the UK. Wonderful. Come from the United Kingdom. Wonderful letter. All right, next letter. This letter says quickly, uh, when did God ask people to start a church in the Bible? He didn't. God had never asked nobody to start a church in the Bible. Jesus plainly taught us, upon this rock, I'll build my church. church. Amen. And he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. When men took it upon themselves to start a church, it goes to show you they did this because they hate Jesus' teaching. That's Amen. right. Eh? That's right. Amen. You know, when you hate something, you go start something else. Amen. And Jesus made it plain mm -hmm. in the book of Matthew, if you will. In Matthew chapter 16 and at verse 18. What did he say? And I say unto thee. I say unto thee. That thou art Peter. That thou art Peter. And upon this rock. And upon this rock. I will build. I. Glory to God. I. Not we. I. I will build my church. Only one church. That's right. And regardless of how many hate the church, what did Jesus say? And the gates of, of hell, hell shall not prevail against Are them. you listening? That's right. The gates of hell. Shall now, not you bear in mind, men start church because the devil is in them. That's right. right. And every time man start, not only church, but when man start religion at large, mm -hmm. every time when man starts something is designed to please his flesh, and to justify his sins. That's right. But when the Lord brings something, it's against man from head to foot. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. It demands that man make all the changes and cater to the things of God. Mm -hmm. So writer, God never told man to start church. And that's why you have non-denominational, seven-day Adventist, apostolic or apostolic and mm -hmm. Pentecostal. There's someone wrote in, uh, I think from a church that called themselves the whole truth church hmm. of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. Mm -hmm. And they said apostolic started in the second chapter of Isaiah. Let's read that quickly. Isaiah. And I want to see the apostolic start there. Isaiah chapter 2 and at verse 1. Listen. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Isaiah, Judah and the Jerusalem. The son of Amos saw concerning Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. In the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house. Wait a minute. Who house it is? Of the Lord's house. Who house it is? The Lord's house. What are you going to do with this house? Shall be established in the top of the mountain. And then what? And shall, by, and shall be exalted above the hills. And what's coming? And all nations. How much? All nations. How much? All nations. Glory to God. Everybody. Shall have everything. He's going to get people out of every nation. All nations. Black, white, brown, yellow, red. I don't care who you are. That's right. He's going to get you out of every nation. Shall do what? Shall flow unto it. And then what? And many people shall Many go. people. Shall go and say. Pray to God. They hate the truth of God because of many people. Many people. Many people shall go and say. Come ye. That now, now viewer, now viewer. Now I'm one of those people. <laughs> That's and right. And I want to just tell you to come, do what? Come ye. Do what? Come ye. Come on. 
Amen. Come where? Let us go up. Come on and go up to the mountain of the Lord. You want to come to the mountain of the Lord? You got to leave where you're at. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's right. Leave where you're at and come on up That's to right. the mountain of the Lord. To the house. To the house of the God of Jacob. Now. Hallelujah. We're going to come to Jacob's God's Wonderful. house. That's right. Wonderful. Hold it right there. Mm -hmm. We are going to Jacob's God house. That's right. To the house of the God of Jacob or the church that belong to God. That's right. right. Now, in that house, Hallelujah. there's a faith. Oh, yes. Glory yes, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to God. Hallelujah. In that house, there's a belief. That's Amen. right. That governs that house. That's, That's right. right. Now let's find out the name of that faith. Mm -hmm. Is see, is it apostolic mm -hmm. or is it holy? In the book of Jude, chapter one, and at verse twenty. You folks said uh, apostolic start in the second chapter of Isaiah. No, yeah. you wish it did. Oh, amen. It didn't. No. Let's see the faith. The name of the faith. Jude, chapter one, and at verse twenty. What is it? But ye beloved. What? But ye beloved. Church. Mm -hmm. Building up yourself. Building up yourself. On your most holy. On your most apostolic. Holy. Faith. Pentecostal. Holy. Baptist. Holy. Non-denominational. Holy. Holy what? Holy faith. Give me the book of uh, Leviticus, Leviticus, if you will. Mm -hmm. Chapter 19. Amen. The 19th chapter Leviticus. Mm -hmm. Now let us understand this. God have never sent no apostle or no prophet to start a religion no. or to name a belief after them. That's right. Never. never. Not once. Never. That's right. Never. Not once did God have a belief and want you to name it after men he sent. That's right. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why you can't even have a church named after no prophet or the apostles. Amen. Or, or, or some so-called founder. Oh, yeah. You can't have a church named the Church of St. John or, or, or the Church of Geno Jennings or no, the no. Church uh, Dan Thompson no, so. House. No, so. Amen. Uh, no, so. Amen. The Church of Steve Williams. No. no, no Amen. No. Skaleski's Temple. <laughs> no, no. Skaleski's Memorial Temple. That's right. Not that. Not that. Hey! Not that. that. Amen. Not that at all. Mm -hmm. Thank God the word of God makes it plain here. In Leviticus chapter 19, and we'll start at verse 1. What is it? And the Lord spake unto yeah. Moses. Have you said, noticed how everything always the Lord said? The Lord, the Lord said. Right. The Lord said. Mm -hmm. Know ye the Lord that he is God. That's it. So when you said the Lord said, that means God is talking here. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And the Lord spake. And the Lord said. Unto Moses saying. Unto Moses saying. Speak unto all the congregation Moses, of the I children of Israel. Tell all of Israel. And say unto them. And say to them. Ye shall be holy. You got to be holy. That's right. Holiness is not only a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Holiness, the reason why God wants you to be holy, mm -hmm. because it's the characteristics of God. That's right. It is the way of God. That's right. It is the standard of God. That's right. It is the function of God. Yes, what do you mean holy? That which is untainted. That's right. That's it. Huh? That's yes, it. Sir. Holiness is that which is not tainted. That's, That's right. right. It's pure. Pure. Undefiled. Undefiled. Mm -hmm. No man-made beliefs is mixed in it. That's yes. right. That's what holiness is. That's, That's right. right. All these other religions, mm -hmm. man-made beliefs are mixed in it. Man-made beliefs are part of it. Mm -hmm. In fact, men start it. That's right. right. Holiness have no beginning. That's, that's right. right. It's the only belief that exists in the universe that's not connected to a date. That's Amen. Right. Always was. That's always right. Was. Always has been. That's Glory right. Glory to God. The Bible says, according to as God has chosen us in him yep. before the foundation. Of before the, the foundation of the world. That Do means. you know what that means? Yeah. That's right. Before the foundation of the world, before I created the heaven, that's right. Before I made the earth, that's right. Before I made the sun, Amen. before I made the moon, Amen. before I made life, that's right. That's right. Yes, Amen. He had an agenda. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. That's right. Before the foundation of the world, blessed be the Wonderful. name of God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. For the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. It ain't nobody religion go back that far. No, no. no. Sir. Nobody religion go let go back that far. Oh no. You that claim that uh, Christianity, you that God ain't start that stuff. No, no. no. God always had one oh, belief. That's right. He didn't switch it up. No, no it is. Now you scholars say that the first religion that God gave was Judaism. Yeah. 
And the second religion that God gave was Christianity. Mm -hmm. And the third religion that God gave was Islam. Mm -hmm. And then they said Abraham was the father and is the father of all three religions. Hello. Abraham is not the father of no religion. That's right. Huh? That's right. God had never, 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 never trust no man no, no. so much he told that man mm -hmm. start a religion. That's oh, right. No. Never, sir. Never. That's right. Never. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. Religious world. Amen. Amen. God Himself. Amen. Have never spoke to no man. No man. And told no man. Right. Start a religion. That's right. Hmm? That's no. Right. It is God that tells man what to be. Oh, yeah. It is God that tells man how to be. That's right. It is God. That tell man what you should That's right. be. That's Amen. right. Why do God want to do it? That's right. Because He know He won't change. That's Amen. Right. Huh? Amen. He won't be one thing one time Amen. and one thing another. That's right, sir. You see, man, you change. That's yeah. right. Changeable, sir. God said, I'm a God that changed not. That's right. And being that I don't change, mm -hmm. I'm holy before the world was. I'll be holy while I make the world. Amen. I'll be holy after the world is made. Amen. And I'll be holy when the world pass away. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't take off. That's, That's right. right. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am I, holy. I, the Lord your God, am holy. I'm holy. Amen. Hey, the Bible make it plain. Holiness without. No man. Which no man. No man. You can't even see God being anything else. That's right. You can't even go back with God being anything else. That's right. You got to repent of your sins. Who? Everybody. Everybody. And be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And then you got to take on the characteristics of God. That's right. And when you take on the characteristics of God, you will have the thinking of God, the attitude of God, mm -hmm. and the emotions of God. Go ahead. Right. Do you understand? That's it. When you take on the characteristics of God, you take on the thinking of God, you take on the emotions of God. Yeah, that's right. Someone say, that's not Bible. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes. The emotions of God is Bible. Oh, yes. Why? God said, love your enemy. Love that's, your right. Enemies. that's right. That's the emotions of God. That's right. God says, uh, pray for them. Pray for them. Mm -hmm. that, the spiteful, uh, that you, you, that's the emotions of God. That's right. God knows man ain't like that. That's man right. Man don't want to be like that. That's right. right. Or it take God, in order for man to be this way, he got to be born all over again. Over again. That's right. You understand?